The propeller is broken, is bent from ice. And I need to take the boat out of the water and change the propeller in nuke. So finally, after a couple of weeks of mapping the seafloor with a dinged up prop, having to go at slower speeds and having to worry about the vibration, we finally get to nuke the capital of Greenland. There's only 16,000 people. The entire population of Greenland is 56,000. And it is one of the most difficult places to possibly tie up. I mean, you're inevitably gonna be a boat tied off to a boat, that's tied off to a boat, that's tied off to a boat, and there's really no way around it. And you're probably gonna have to move that boat one or two or three times a day as boats come and go. But we knew this was the only place that would have the infrastructure necessary to haul out this big boat. I've had a lot of haul outs before. I've never had to be hauled out by a train track. Well, I've got to park this boat on top of that cradle perfectly and exactly. I mean, this one is a little different. You know, I like to change it up. It's too bad I can't back into it, make it a real challenge, you know? Good, yeah, keep on coming. Yeah, you're looking good. You're pretty. Tell me how beautiful. Parked on. I essentially have to run aground on this thing. <laughs> I need that switch. Take it over there and tie it off over there, and then we got it on both sides down there, boy. Look how big my time we're going on the ladder now. We're going out here when it's about to get on the ground. Fix the prop. Copy the prop. Mmm, nuke. Oh, God. If you fall, don't hit the bottom. Well, there's two chips, and it's bent backwards more than the rest of them. When a crew member Hit a piece of ice the size of a Cadillac Escalade, exploded into a million little pieces. One piece came drifting on down the hall, smacked into this blade, or this blade smacked into it, chipping it and bending it. Yeah, I'm telling you, it shot like six feet last time. Just tap it on the back. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going on. See all the whack rib? Yeah, it, we're just trying, just trying to whack it off. Just trying to whack off. Whack off the boat. All right, I'll go let them know that it's here. The guys fixed it the same day, gave it back to us, we put it in place, bam, we're ready to go. So I decided that this would be a good time to start beating Nick and Madden. Hey, boy. Hey, Trevor. That's that's fifteen. Fifteen. So good. So good. Seventeen five cruising speed. Seventeen five. A little bit of wobble. Prop fixed. Yeah, we got prop better. This is the, literally the only place in Greenland that can haul us out right now. This is literally the only place in Greenland that can fix our prop, and they did what they could to fix our prop. And it is as Labrador ready as it's gonna be. Look, Mommy, I'm a real sailor. Once the boat was fixed and Daniel and Tomer had left, it was time to turn the boat back around, head down to Pamiot, and pick up our new scientists, Camilla from MIT, and Steve from the University of Hull. So the multi beams are designed to map the sea floor in high resolution. What I do is I look at the stuff that's actually in the water column above the sea floor. So we have an idea of how much sediment's being delivered by the fields uh, and the impact it has um, on carbon cycling, how much is being made available within the water column, how much is being buried um, in the sea floor. Plankton are organisms adrift with uh, water currents. I mainly center in the tiny ones. 
phytoplankton are the ones that do the same amount of photosynthesis than all the plants on Earth, more or less. So you have 50% on Earth, 50% in the ocean. The only difference is that instead of being trees and plants, it's just microbes that you cannot see. So we got to keep it like this all the way back to Maryland? No, I'm going to be chopping those up later today. Oh. But for now, okay. I have to build the thing that chops it. It's some pieces all over the boat somewhere. Can you get the bottom This is your baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's the seafloor. This it's is the, the chosen fjord. one. Yeah. The and then mostly deglaciated fjord. <laughs> the record of the sedimentation, the rate of it over time. There's also all kinds of like potential little critters and uh, like shells that tell us about the, you know, how old the different layers are. Alright. What do we got? Boarding row one. Checkmate. Now, if that isn't the checkmate, I don't know what is. What do you got to say? <sighs> Come put me in chess. I'll teach you a thing or two. And uh, Steve, it was great to have you here. I'm glad we get some ADCP stuff. We've been staring at that damn pole for months trying to get it to work and whatnot. It's good to finally use it. So, all right. Cheers. Cheers. Your last night is uh, 46 year old. 47. <laughs> 25 days of successful seafloor mapping. We have officially mapped all of Greenland, every little piece of the Arctic, and it's over. It's done. We go home now. Good. All right. All right. Yeah. Our research project over. You still watching this? Well, if you are, please support us at oceanresearchproject.org our Patreon, or click the link below.